did Dr. Navarro definitively say that you could never get pregnant? No. The hormone therapy is not permanent. Once Molly stops taking the medication, ovulation will resume. I mean, that's probably why Dr. Navarro wanted to wake. Until we know exactly what we're dealing with, it's all speculation and, and worst case scenarios. Baby, this might be a speed bump, not a dead end. But what if it is? I mean, I've already done a search on endometriosis. I know that it can cause infertility. In some cases, definitely not all. Right. Okay. I know you're right. We just need more answers. You know what? I'm, I'm going to note some questions. I'll do research and ask Dr. Navarro also. Hey, uh, th there's an ER patient I needed to check in on. Will you be okay for just a bit? I got this. Yeah, sure. Call. Okay. It won't be long. I'll be okay. I need to um, check my messages. I'm, I'm waiting on discovery for a case. Talk to me. I'm just being irrational. You are not being... Uh, possibly. It, you know, feelings are not always rational. Just tell me how you really feel. I feel like I just got told that I'll never be a mom. Oh, man. <laughs> I know, I'm just being stupid. Stupid? My daughter? Impossible. Hi, it's very normal to be upset when you think something's not right with your body, and especially if it's something that you were counting on that you might not be able to do, like get pregnant. It's very upsetting. I mean, logically, I know that I could still be a mom, even if I am infertile. Being a parent is so much more than just biology. Absolutely. But we're also getting ahead of ourselves here, right? We don't even know if you have endometriosis until the biopsy comes back, yes. Dr. Navarro seemed pretty certain. And I have all of the classic symptoms. One step at a time. Right. And stop looking at, I'm taking this. Do not look at the internet to get your medical information. It's just gonna leave you terrified. I know, but mom sitting around and waiting is just not in my DNA. <sighs> No, no, it's not mine either. I'd be all over this thing looking and trying to face the worst news head on. Yeah, exactly. Knowledge is power. So they say. 